Two o'clock, and we finally, 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 oh, thank God, maybe, <laughs> thank God, have a resolution to the Deshaun Watson case. Maybe. Still could be a caveat out there, but it looks as if 11 games. I think he's going to miss about $5 million. The money doesn't mean anything. It doesn't. If they really wanted to do and it. And he has to do counseling. Well, here, okay. Now, and that's the biggest thing. You're do. bringing up the caveat. Because the first thing David and I saw when the news came in is, okay, who's, who's week 12? <laughs> They're at Houston. Yeah. It's week, it would be week 13. I have a bye within there. Okay. But week 13 is at Houston. Da- yeah. David. Now, the league had to have wanted 12. There's no way, as Rico put it, there's no way Goodell wants that. No, he doesn't. And that's why I said this could still get manipulated because he doesn't want the first game to be actually in Houston. He is not happy about that. So I don't think he can add another game. I don't know if they take away a game and say, you know what, how about we just make it 10? We don't want your first game back. With all the TV cameras right there in Houston. That's well, a recipe for disaster. So, look, we're going to get to the Big Ten media deal. Three o'clock, I just want to kind of put up the smoke signal. Uh, I'd like to address Spartan Nation. I, I'd like to communicate to the fan base. And I think there needs to be a mindset shift. And as a part of this discussion, I think Michigan fans will react. And I only have one rule. And we'll get to it at three. So, we're gonna. I want to address Spartan Nation at three, uh, and we will get to a host of other things, including. I Rico. have no idea what he's. Talking I know about. you don't. I can't tell you because I want your organic response, uh, and I know you're going to take us through the Big Ten media deal, and I'm going to, I'm going to take another swing at Notre Dame. Uh, <laughs> but it, it, the Deshaun thing. Here's my question for the people: Did the league get it right? Did this end up being a penalty that you find acceptable? Because. A year was never in the offense. And I can say that because a year would have helped the Browns. And what do I mean by that? Well, if it was a year, there's a clause in his contract that everything gets pushed a year out. Meaning, while he would miss a year, he doesn't pay any more money. And next year, he would simply make a million dollars. Right. So I don't think the league, once they looked at the contract, they could say they wanted indefinite. They could say they wanted 17 games. They were never going to help the Browns. They were never going to help them by punting the salary allocation a full year. Whereas now, oh no, we're starting that thing, and you're going to pay them 50 a pop moving forward. Mm -hmm. I I feel like the 11 games, it's a weird number. You know, 6, 8, 10, 12. The 11... I'm done. I don't have to like him. I don't have to believe him. I don't have to want him to come to my house for dinner. Yeah, I think this was a three-way compromise that everybody kind of felt you walked away. <clears throat> okay, let me let me rephrase this. The situation was heinous, okay? But this is a situation where all three parties felt like they walked away with a victory. Deshaun gets to play this year. That's a W for him. The NFL gets to look as if they stronged arm and said, no, not good enough. We respect women, and we're going to make this thing a little bit harsher. And, yeah, and they also got the Cleveland Browns to say, you're, you're going to go ahead and start the clock, and you're going to start paying him. And Cleveland gets to save themselves uh, some money. They don't have to pay him for the 11 games that he's going to play. So it's kind of a win, win, win. Uh, he's not kicked out of the league because those three draft picks that Cleveland gave up, man, that was going to look really horribly like a mistake if he did not play. But the 11 games, yeah, because the funny thing is, I was thinking in my mind, well, who plays first, Deshaun Watson or Jameson Williams? Because that's when I think that he should come back around Thanksgiving. I'll tell you, J-Mo, only based on, I think, week seven versus week 13, but you're not far off. I, I just, I mean, when, when you look at it. I mean, but it's that, over. Yeah, that that's my thing is like, I don't think any good settlement that ever takes place, both sides are going to be angry with. Not angry, but slightly annoyed. Otherwise, it's not a settlement. Neither side had to give. And see, I think this time, 
this, it was a win-win because even Deshaun was saying, okay, you know what? How about a little more money in, in eight games? Okay, well, how about we make it 11? You, you still get to play the back end of the season. And if Cleveland somehow manages to become a playoff team, they can. You're gonna, your legs are going to be fresh. And it's almost like you added a trade or a free agent in Go the middle of the season. Go look at their first 11 games. Go look at their first 11 games. Rico, they can absolutely tread water. And they'll get Deshaun Watson back after a bye week with seven games to go. Go look at that schedule. And you see a date with the Jets on there. I'm spitballing here. I think there's a date with the Panthers on there. I think there's a date with the Jags on there. They open up at the Panthers. Then they have the Jets, Steelers, Falcons. That's their first four. There's three wins right there if they know what they're doing. Then they got Chargers, Patriots, Ravens, Bengals. Probably all losses. in their bye week. They could, they could, I don't think the Patriots are that good, but I get what you're saying. Fine, but, but, but by the then, we may know the Patriots are better than what we yeah, think they the are Yeah, the whole now. point is, if they can just get four or five wins, they can sit tight and make a run late in the year. So to Rico's point, maybe it is a win. Here's my question. Do you think at the end of the day, no matter how we got here, did, did this end up appropriate? If you're a fan of football, if you're a human being, do you think this thing ended up in the spot it should have? 11 games, 5 million bucks. It's not a full year. It's not indefinite. It's also not six games. I, If you don't feel like it's enough, I guess my question would be, then would you be happy with anything short of Deshaun Watson never playing football again? Because I don't know what to tell you. And no matter how much you don't want to hear this, it's not a criminal investigation. It's civil. Mm-hmm. And I think it's very difficult to take away someone's right to work, take away someone's ability to work based on civil accusation and settling versus criminal proceedings. I think that's a very difficult precedent to set there. Yeah, I think this is this is exactly what the league needed, Mike. You needed this thing to be over with. You didn't need the cloud over your head. I mean, remember the year when there was deflate gate and Brady had to sit out with the three, four games, yeah. and that's all everybody talked about. So you know what's gonna happen? Today, people are going to talk about it. Now, the weird thing is, I thought this news was going to come out tomorrow around 5 or 6 o'clock. Let's just get it out there because the NFL is smart. Let's do a test. Let's see how the people are going to react to this. We look like we're a lot stronger as an organization. We put the hammer down. He won't be back for 11 games. That's double digits. He's going to be most of the season. We look like we're, we're the heroes. And, yeah, it's over. So, when... Labor Day weekend kicks in, and all of a sudden they get that Thursday night game. We're not talking to Sean Watson anymore. That's going to be gone. We'll pick it back up when they go up against the Texans, which I got to think that somebody somewhere didn't do the correct math because there is no way that should have been the game that he what comes back. What if they back. did? What if they did? How does one get – think about this. The league wants 17. Deshaun Watson had six. Mm-hmm. All right, well, you got an 18-week season. How do you end up at 11? See, that's why I, I probably would have said, let's either go 10, where you're at home against the Bucks, you know or, we, or we go 12, and you're at Cincinnati. Don't need you in the place where all of this stuff took place. But just like the NCAA Tournament Committee intentionally oh. does think, oh, look, Foster Lawyer versus Michigan State. Hey, Dave, we just happened to draw names out of the hat. Oh, wait, Coach K's retiring? Wait, how about Izzo and K in the second round? Oh, yeah, I remember the year. It was Michigan versus Tommy and and, and Harvard. Right. It just happened to be that way. all I will tell you is that while the NFL – see, here's the other thing. And I hate that we have to use qualifiers, but I'm going to because some of you aren't mature enough to just listen. By the time that game is played in November, nobody's going to care about – what did or did not happen? No, no. one's going to it, it, guys. December, I, actually, December fourth. Yeah, I don't. I'm not making light of anything. I'm talking reality and how this world works. By that time, we're talking about possible playoff scenarios. Who needs to win this? We're in December, folks. You're talking Christmas, Christmas games. Yeah, wild card spots. The Cardinals annual swoon. Mm. This will be on the back burner. So that's where one does wonder if, when you look at that, I mean, what's the real difference between 11 and 12? Because reality is, if they didn't agree to the settlement, 
Uh, Paul Harvey, who's the former AG of New Jersey, he was going to Peter, rule. Peter. Peter, Peter, sorry. There's going to be an impasse. He was going to rule. If, if the league really wanted 12, you kind of feel like they could have got it. See, I, I think you should have went 10 games, and here's why. That was my original thing. Because by the time he comes back, you don't want to talk about burying a story. He'll come back during the Thanksgiving weekend where people kind of don't care. Yep. You're going to have reporters spending time with their families, maybe on holiday, I mean, on vacation breaks. That would have been the perfect time going up against the Bucks at home. That's it right there. And it's 10 games. It's double digits. 11 just seems weird, but maybe it's because they played the extra game. So that's where that came in. But, yeah, I would have gone Thanksgiving weekend, Sunday the 27th, perfect time to do it. I didn't even think about that, that that week is – thank. that's mm-hmm. perfect. It mm-hmm. would have been perfect. Perfect time. Because think about it. At that point, everybody's taking the week off. You're, you're flying away. You're doing whatever because you don't want to fly out on Wednesday night. So maybe you work – as soon as the Monday night game is over, unless you're covering the Lions or the Cowboys – you you probably are taking off, and you got a lot of B team substitutes reporters in. Perfect time to just ease him in against the Bucks. People are focused on Brady, his final go round. Yeah, and they're not going to talk about him returning during the Thanksgiving game because they don't want the focus taken off the game. No, this was the perfect time. Now this this is going to make you front and center. It's going to be a segment on all the different NFL shows. He's going back to the place where he committed the crime. If the league was smart, I would have said, yeah, do it week 12, and no one cares. That's the Friday news dump, doing it week 12. David, you think it, you think it ended up correct, 11 games, 5 million bucks? You know, I find myself, it's, a, it's, a, it's hard to say if No is an right. answer. You're not wrong if you say it, no. Just, I'm going to say no. Okay. It's just so difficult with what we've heard of what he did, and I get it. They only talked to four, I believe, four or five women in the actual case that Sue Robinson heard, but we've heard of up to 60 or more. So just knowing that on the top of my head, I'm like, 11 games, it's not enough for me. I'm sorry. You know the other thing I was thinking about, and I have no way of knowing, it's just it struck me because he, he played like ass in the preseason game. This dude's going to be out of football for two years. Mm-hmm. How do we know he just regains his form? How do we know that he comes back and is the Deshaun Watson we all love? I don't think he does. As a player, let's take it easy as far as him as a person. That seems to be a complete mess. Deshaun as a player, you know what? Think of it as a major league pitcher where it takes a year to get the rust off. Oh. So he's he's not going through an injury. But in the NFL, as a quarterback, it's timing. I'll tell you one And thing. he's going to a new team. He is going to – I mean, and again, it's not about right or wrong. It's about real. You want to talk about somebody being a target? I mean, the mental side of this, look, that that's every bit as important as physical. You know, if your mind ain't right, you are not able to perform. You are not – I don't care what your job is, whether you're a lawyer, whether you're a surgeon, or whether you're a quarterback. Mm-hmm. If your mind ain't right, and we don't even need to get to the physical, Rico, he is going to be eviscerated. And it, it could happen to him in Cleveland, too. We don't know what the response will be uh, outside of that stadium or in the media. See, I think true. Cleveland protected. Not a hotbed. It's not New York where they would just come after him and just try to eviscerate his career. If he wins, they'll protect him all is well. You'll do the initial story. Yeah. And it will be one of those, well, Deshaun, I kind of got to ask you about this, but I don't really want to. But, you know, how are you going to cope with all the fans? And then it's like, okay, you're one of our guys. When he goes to other places, you saw, what was it, Jacksonville, what they were chanting to him. Uh, You sick bleep, Yeah, I believe, was the uh, refrain. And that's just Jacksonville. It's going to, right. And that, I mean, that's, you're you're right in the middle of God's waiting room at that. Wait to real fans. Get it out there and start yeah. asking. Put Deshaun Watson in Philly against the Eagles. Buckle up. They'll be throwing garbage cans at him.